my first deployment when I no longer really cared if I lived or died. It was just alcohol. New at 6, 10 News has a behind-the-scenes look at the options for treating PTSD that the local VA clinics rely on. 10 News military reporter Hannah Mullen sat down with a local Marine veteran who says he has found the right combination. I remember walking around Iraq and we'd be getting mortar attacks and I'd just be walking around without my Kevlar or flak jacket or anything. Two tours in Iraq took a toll on Travis Adams. I really put myself in harm's way. I didn't care if I really lived or died anymore. He flirted with death at home too, trying to self-medicate and driving drunk. I've recently reported on a number of alternate therapies, like yoga, how yoga can help, medical marijuana, I was happy. and acupuncture. It's very effective. So I had a local VA doctor break down what's proven, what's not, and what they're experimenting with. I mean, I think it's devastating. Dr. Sonia Norman, who directs a national PTSD program, is talking about the 22 vets a day who take their lives. She relies on the tried and true methods to stop it. Medications and psychotherapies like cognitive processing. Say a troop won't go to a gas station because the smell triggers memories of an explosion, a therapist reintroduces it. Over the course of the treatment, the person has kind of reclaimed their life. She says a lot has changed, like the type of medications. You know, if someone came to treatment 15 years ago and felt really discouraged, they absolutely should come in again. She says alcohol and pot may offer short-term relief, but can lead to long-term problems, but says a couple alternate treatments look promising and may even land on next year's guidelines. Yoga, mantra, acupuncture. Adams calls them wellness tools, and his is scuba diving. While the therapy was his main weapon in the battle against PTSD, diving only added to his arsenal. One day I just woke up and I was like, I feel good. Now he's a peer counselor at the VA, making sure other vets keep fighting. It's changed my life and it can change theirs too. Hannah Mullins, 10 News. So if you're thinking about going to the VA, now you have a friendly face who understands the struggles.